Okay, okay. He's got it now. I got him. Got him. This is a giant. All right, guys, I'm going to take just a second to talk about the setup I like to use whenever I'm fishing live bait. And the rod and reel is not nearly as important. But what you want to base your setup off of is your depth. If you're fishing five feet or shallower, you want to go without a cork. I just like to free line it, and I'll get one of these three aught Mustad Grip Pin Max hooks. And the thing I really like about these hooks are you see that red tip right there that red tip kind of makes it look like a bleeding bait fish so the way i hook them through the mouth that's the only thing the fish will see is that red tip and it kind of may trigger that extra bite so if you're fishing five feet or deeper i like to use this setup and i found this cork years and years ago and i like them they're long and narrow i found them in the saltwater section at walmart and I've caught a lot of fish off of this exact setup. Matter of fact, this has been my live bait setup for about 15 years now. It's an all-star rod and a Bass Pro Shops reel. I don't even know if they still make these things. But I've caught a lot of big fish. And the, the key is that cork right there. And it's just big enough to keep those bait fish from pulling it under. But you'll know when the bass gets it because he'll be able to pull it under. So I just use a split shot weight right below it and right above it. Make sure you have 17 pound heavy test line. You can even go a little bit stronger than that. Line test doesn't matter. You just don't want it too light. So now I'm going to roll to a live bait trip I had out with my friends a couple weekends ago. Whenever it was Chase's bachelor party and we were using live bluegills and golden shiners. He's going on the hook. He's going on the hook. Caught a golden shiner. Gonna hook it to the lip. Flip it out on the cork. Sit back and wait for it. There you go. That's a catch and cook style bluegill right there. Look, there he is. There's the bass. Sit still, still, still. Oh, he saw us. He turned around. Watch right here. He's sitting right here. He's sitting right here. Y'all right stay still. He's coming out from under the pier. This thing's fixing to swim right into him. Oh, he just doesn't know it. Oh, got him. Got him. Bass on. Got him. He's a three to four pounder, probably. <laughs> no, he's a little bit bigger than that. There you go. He's going to swim right into you, Chase. And then all of a sudden, the, uh, the golden shiner came up. Bit our bread. We used the shiner to catch the bass. Appreciate the teamwork there that's a nice one man on a live golden shiner all right let's go let him go, let him go. yep heck yeah that was fun appreciate the teamwork on that one i'd have been in a bind all right i just loaded these guys up with some fresh golden shiners I'm the bait man. They're gonna head out there to this little hot spot, this little island. So I'm just catching these golden shiners right here off the edge of this pier with a little Zepco 33s and a little piece of bread. Loading them up in the boat and they're taking it out to the deep point. I'm gonna catch a big one. He's running. He's running. He's running. Oh, he's under. I might have a fish. Got a fish, got a fish. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, 
Josh, 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 you gotta help me, brother. Yeah, I got this line is. Yes. Woo. Six pounder. Six pounder. I'll take it. Maybe a seven. Hey, if it's seven, that's a new PB. You're up. Five pounds, ten ounces, nine ounces. Yep. Let this big girl go. Oh my gosh, guys, there's a big bass sitting right here on this stump. He's sitting on top of this stump. He's like, he spun up sideways. That's how I got to see him. Oh, he's not looking at it yet. Yep, now he's looking at it. Oh, I just ran him off. Two of them, two giants. Man, they got scared off. All right, one second. They're both coming back right at the worm. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that bass right there. All right, guys. I've got the perfect bait. Right out here off the end of this pier, I spotted a big bass. Looks like he's seven pounds. He's sitting right here on the edge of a stump. There's actually two of them. Oh yeah, they're still there, giants. Gosh. But he's fixing to eat it, he's going in. He's going in to eat it. Oh, he turned. Oh, he's looking. He's looking. He's got it. He's got to hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. He's got it. I'm going to let him eat it good. Let him eat it. Oh, come on back and get it. He's already, He's hitting it. Oh, there we go. He's got it now. I got him. Got him. This is a giant. Holy cow, this fish is powerful. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is a giant. Holy cow. I can't do nothing with him. Oh, get away from that. Get away from that. <laughs> Yes! Whoo! That is a freaking tank. <laughs> Y'all bring me them scales. How big was yours? Whoo! I got to watch that one come up and eat it. Uh, live bait. Alright. They brought me the scales. This roadside service right here. All right, Chase, tell me what he weighs. Seven pounds. Seven, seven five. Seven, 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 seven four. Seven, Look seven, at four, that four, giant four, right seven. there. Heck yes, on live bait. Right. Chase just now caught, what was yours? How that big? Was a five pound nine. Chase just caught a five nine on a live golden shiner. I just caught a seven four to seven six, somewhere around that. Look at the mouth on that thing. Man, that was so fun. All right, we're going to put her back and let her go back to her stump over there. Look at her swimming away. That is a giant fish. Dang it. <laughs> I should have known it was a little guy. Yeah, he may be the one that came up and ate, actually ate it. Ooh, All right, good. here you go, Chase. Get ready. I don't know if he's on it yet, but he's only running like that for a reason. 
think that's it. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and pull it up. Just at least, yeah, I think you got it. You may have a 10 pounder on right here. Can't chance it. What we got? A little guy. A little bitty old guy. Hair flipping? Yeah, go ahead. Let me reel down. Man, look at that. Bluegill down his throat. He's got him halfway eaten. Oh, with the crawfish down in there. Really? Yep. Got a little pincher down in there. I'm trying to get him out. Oh, ain't no getting that bluegill out. We might can get the hook out, though. No, I think I can hit my spots from right here. Oh, man. You can, though, if you want to go around up in that creek. Topwater fish. It's be the same as this creek. There he is. He's running at me. I can't tell. No, no big. He's a fat one, though, ain't he? Look at there. Look at that. He spit out a crawfish claw. Sure Holy is. cow. I have never seen that before in all of my life. I've just seen scales. I haven't a seen fish spit. shorts. Oh, he spit all over my shorts. Look over here, Steve. He spit the whole crawfish out. This is un incredible. Let's see, he might have more of it down in his mouth. He does. He has that whole thing exactly. pretty much demolished in his mouth. Put it right there. He has it pretty much. A crawfish halfway eating an orange crawl. We're throwing jigs tomorrow. <laughs> well, guys, that's the first time right there. Crawfish halfway eating. But look at how fat he is. That's why. He never missed the opportunity to eat. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap up a good day of live bait fishing. We've had a good time out here, good time with friends. We've got a couple other challenges. We're gonna spend the night up here in that nice cabin up on the hilltop there and get back after in the morning and do some different kind of fishing. So hope you enjoyed this. Get out with your friends and your buddies and try out some live bait, either brim, Redfin shad, golden shiners, gizzard shad, anything like that. Those are the main things that these big bass eat. So hope you enjoyed it. See you guys next time.